Look at that mist. I hope it doesn't rain today. But goodbye, Arrone. Next stop is Ciselli. It's going to be about a 15 kilometer walk. And man, this mist is going to clear up when the sun comes out, hopefully. But even like this, it's kind of cool. One of the best things about getting up and early is that you can make so much progress before the hottest time of the day. Besides the fact that it's quiet, silent, no cars, all these birds chirping away. There. <laughs> That's a creep. <laughs> no. Video. It's better. <laughs> to be stretching. <laughs> Where we're headed today, Chazelli. Made good progress for the beginning of the morning. Only 13 kilometers left to go. 13 and a half. I see we're off to a good start. But it's this way. <laughs> if you leave her, if I would, I don't know how many times if I would have left her, I don't know where she would be by now. Just wandering somewhere. <laughs> An Italian farmer finds her like. Invites her, hey, you lost. <laughs> you look lost. I mean, and if it wasn't for me, I think you would be lost. But. That's what I told you. Like, I couldn't do this on my own. No, I think if, it's just because you know that I'll take care of it. I think if you were on your own, you'd be like freaking out, looking everywhere, <laughs> make sure you don't end up who knows where. Probably end up in that cornfield there. Looks like it's clearing up a bit. You can kind of see a little town there on top of the mountain. Just emerging from the mist. That's a beautiful shot right there of those trees. That is beautiful. He's got a bell on his neck. Are you the leader? He's warning his owner over here. I'm the leader. <laughs> I'm in charge. <laughs> now he has no respect for you. He's just like, after he heard that voice, <laughs> he's just like, I'm ignoring him. I'm not gonna ring the bell anymore. It's time to forage. What you found there. So what you got to do is you got to look for them when they kind of have a little bit of a uh, gap inside. This one's not, yeah, right. this one is. It's got a gap and it's soft. Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh my God. That's so good. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> this one here is perfect. Watch this one. See this one here? It's got kind of a gap. It's kind of open. See? And feel how squishy it is. You just barely squish it and it'll just open up. Oh my god, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> you want a cluster of grapes? Yes, I do. Oh, these are white, no? Thank you. Along the riverside here. Find stinging nettles, mint, all sorts of other goodies, figs. See what else we can forage for today. By the time we get to destination, we might not even need to eat. So we're arriving to Ferrentillo. It's kind of misty, but the sun's kind of clearing everything up. But you have two guard towers. There's one up there a wall that used to extend itself all the way down to the crevice 
and then there's another one that's up there and we'll be able to see when we get past the trees. I'll give you a zoom in shot once we get closer. That's one. And there's the other one. I think he actually has a story, a story to tell. Yesterday she learned how to wash her clothes by hand for the first time. I've done like, before. Oh yeah. I gotta yeah. do it. I want my clothes <laughs> She wanted a, a washing machine. Speaking of which, this is where the women used to wash their clothes back in the day. But they kept it here, same. It's where your soap bar would go. And here, it's where you would wash your clothes in the water, and drain out there. All the women would sit around, wash their clothes, and talk about the recent gossip. Talk about how lazy all the boys are. They're not washing their own damn laundry. They're not cutting the grain or picking the olives. Just sitting around, shooting the wind and playing cards. Very possible. You can also find uh, Museum of Mummies, which they found in the local caves around here. Some people think that mummies are only things that belong in Egypt. You'll find that a lot of cultures practice the mummification process. I'm not that interested in that. We are out here looking for life, not among the dead. But if you really want to see the Mummy Museum, you just follow the sign. Mumie. And that'll take you to the Mummy Museum. We're leaving Ferrentillo behind and we're heading on towards Ceselli. There's one more place you have to see before we get there. We joined by my brother and his wife for two days. We're just doing a little a little piece. They will not give interviews because <laughs> they don't want to be on camera. But that's them up ahead. They brought me my shoes because I don't have the callus that I used to have. So I'm super happy to have my shoes because my feet were feeling a little bit soft. I'll take them off again when it's not the gravel roads because the gravel roads are just really rough on your feet. Last time I I came back from Brazil and my feet were very callous from walking everywhere so I was able to do this barefooted. But all that leisure of life in Rome of debauchery, it's got me out of practice. Uh, there's a place for everything. But this is what I really set out to do when I first started this channel. I just wanted to hike and take videos of my, my favorite hikes that I love doing. Sometimes you get a bit caught up. This is what I live for though. Being out here, seeing all of this, it's just magical. Almost at Colle Ponte, the next town. And that's Umbriano up there. See a little tower in the distance, right up there. I'll give you a close up of that. I don't actually think anybody lives there anymore. It was once a little town with a guard tower. Now it's abandoned. Should be great to go and explore it. Maybe some other time. We've got a destination to get to. We're more than halfway there, Cesedli. Only 6.7 kilometers. Looks like they re-put up the signs. Last time I came here, nothing was marked this well. And I did complain, but maybe they listened. They must have because the trails are so much better marked right now. Those signs are brand new, which makes it a lot easier for the traveler. Although there's a guidebook called Cicerone, which I'll eventually show you, probably one of the videos. And you can also get GPX viewer where you download the maps and it will show you by satellite where you are and if you're on the right route. That is 
probably the best and most efficient way to get around. I'm getting close to Umbrietto right there, just sitting up on the hill. What a spectacle. Camera doesn't do it justice. You've got to come see this for yourself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're not here by yourself, are you? As long as he's like... Oh, he's there are houses around. I'm sure he belongs to someone. He has, a, has a, an owner. Oh, well, he's happy for the food. I'm actually worried about Like, we're so far out. No, there's houses around here. Trust me. Mm. He'll be all right. I mean, he doesn't look like he's starving. Well, he does look like he's pretty hungry, mm. but he's a. Uh, he might just be like me. He was always hungry. He looks like he's can hunt for himself. People get pets and then well, they don't know how to we'll see them. if he follows us into town. Maybe then at least he knows where civilization is. If he follows you all the way, you got to take him. You live up to your crazy cat legend. <laughs> <laughs> Name him, and then you have to take him. Looks like we have a new pilgrim. <laughs> uh -huh. Can you come along with us? Come on, let's go. Uh, let's go. <laughs> so cute. We're in Colle Ponte. Forza Italia. <laughs> And in Colle Ponte, right down this way, there's a little area for a bridge and a swing. We can go and take a dip if my memory serves me. Right. You want to try throwing a horseshoe and getting on there? Yep. I doubt it. You're going to make a lot of noise. Hey. Wake, up, wake up the citizens of the town? All right, let's do it. You want only one try? If you get it, I swear you can pay your lunch. <laughs> I think we, we put too much pressure on her. Whoa. Those are good tries though. So here we are. Little bridge. And the river. Little rest area. Your lunch, although there is a restaurant in town, which I think we'll get up, head up there. And there's your swing. Yes. River crayfish with trout and saffron. Those are gnocchi with lamb sauce. And those are pappardelle with wild boar. All local from the area. I'm pretty sure the pilgrims back in the day didn't get to have these treats. So thank you, St. Francis. Grazie, San Francesco. <laughs> After a good lunch, Back on the trail, heading to Ceselli. Five, maybe about six kilometers to go.
after a long day of hiking and trekking, we're ending this episode here. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Next one is from technically Cesedli to Spoleto, but right now we're in Piediluco, and so it'll be Piediluco to Spoleto. See you guys all in the next episode. Lots of love, and <laughs> hope this brought a smile to your face. See you next time. Ciao.